What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Dustin here today, bringing you guys another commentary over some Black Ops gameplay. Now, I did a commentary a few days ago now talking about the first time I got drunk. That was pretty entertaining. I wanted to suck this one out by saying uh, my apologies for not telling you guys how I got caught. Well, uh, after puking in the bag, um, if you remember from the commentary, I got really smashed off some black velvet. And uh, I had a bag of Lay's, I think, something like that. Or Fritos, some, I don't know, something crazy like that. And uh, I, I vomited in the bag. And I, I tried to, like, I didn't close the bag like you would if you closed up a chip bag. You know how you roll it up? I, like, twisted it. <laughs> and I tried tossing it out my window, okay? Now, I live on the second story of a pretty old farmhouse. And uh, I threw it out the window, right? So it lands directly on the... Um, it's, it's like gravel, it's like a gravel driveway, it landed right in the driveway, and uh, I guess my mom ended up finding it the next day, and opened it up and just did one of these little head things where she like, pulled her head back from the stench of it, <laughs> and uh, well, needless to say, I got grounded for a couple weeks, but a, a little bit of a dull uh, ending to a pretty funny story, I think, but this commentary, okay, is meant to... Uh, describe to you the first time I ever got high. Now, there's a couple different things I have to tell you. First of all, first time I ever got high is a is a whole different story than the first time I ever smoked weed. First time I ever smoked weed, I didn't get high. Okay, the second time I smoked weed, I didn't get high. It wasn't a like legitimate high. So I'm gonna tell you the first time I ever got baked, like completely brain is gone. Okay, <laughs> first time I ever got completely baked. I was at a college party a couple years back. And uh, my buddy, uh, Newman, he's like, yo, dude, you have to come to this party. You know, it's pretty crazy shit. So we went to this party. It was, it was a blacklight party. Fucking awesome party. Overall, great night. Um, so I'm back there. I'm drinking, having a good time. We're playing some card games, drinking games, all that good shit. You got Lincoln Park in the background. All that good cliche stuff. And um, this dude, Steve, came in. Fucking awesome guy. Dude, this is hilarious, right? Comes in and he's like, "All right, time to smoke." So I figured everybody had to leave the house for a uh, smoke break. Well, it didn't it didn't turn out to be a smoke break. It was like a smoke break. Like I'm talking back in the back room, and we're getting some fucking some crazy shit going on now. We're talking fucking smoking the best weed that I think I've ever. You know, I can't say that I've smoked a whole lot of different types of weed. There's a bunch of different types, a bunch of different names, but this weed, funkiest smell stickiest looking just it, it was crazy okay so we'll leave it at that I won't get too much into it but he had a a, a bowl okay it, it was a um I, I want to say a chameleon chameleon or some kind of lizard of that sort and uh he had it upside it was like an upside down like okay so you got like spread eagle like it's on its back hands in the air feet you know stretched out that kind of thing and uh he had that shit going he packed it real nice and tight it was just delicious okay <laughs> I can't say I didn't enjoy it um I took one hit okay and it was like okay you know I like that you know tasted pretty good on my lips I'm not gonna lie it tasted funny you know it tasted good you know uh got like four or five hits in I'm like oh shit this is some good stuff and I was I was already like keep in mind I've already had like I don't know about a half a fifth if you guys know what a fifth of Jack Daniels looks like uh it's like a uh I couldn't describe it to you, just look it up, but it's like, I drank like half of that with mixing it. I didn't like, I don't like mixing drinks because it typically makes me sick, and you know, sure as shit, this night ends that way, but I uh, I drank that, okay, I drank all that Jack Daniels, I had a bunch of mixed drinks, just a bunch of nasty stuff, all brewing up inside, and then I went about smoking some of the stickiest, smelliest weed I've ever had, and uh, <laughs> sure as shit, I'm, well, I shouldn't get right into the ending, but we'll go ahead and just describe the experience in itself. Um... Okay, try imagining a unicorn having sex. No, excuse me. Try imagining Chuck Norris having sex with a unicorn and then the unicorn ejaculating some sort of myth mythical beast such as a minotaur or, or possibly Zeus in, its, uh, in itself. So if you can try to imagine any of the combinations of those things, that's kind of what the experience was like for me. It was the... It was more than, it was okay, that was a little bit of an exaggeration, obviously, but it was more than just the basic high that you see in movies. And it's like, oh, I'm so baked, man. I was fucking tripping nuts, bro. Okay, I was going, <laughs> that was, that was, that sounded horrible. I was, I was tripping pretty bad, okay. I was lit, I was drunk, and it was just, overall, a great night. The thing that happened that night that was the funniest part about it, though, is the guy's party that we were at, his name was Twig. He was a pretty skinny guy. Pretty cool. He was the fucking coolest guy ever, okay? But I walked in his bathroom or whatever, and, you know, someone just got out or whatever, and I, I was, you know, I went to go take a big old dookie. Okay, I'm dropping a duke bomb. 
Okay, have some pizza before I came, not gonna lie to you. Some pretty good shit. <laughs> so I'm going to drop a duke bomb, right? And I walk in, and I'm sitting on the toilet, you know, dropping dukes. And um, and if you don't know what duke is, I might use this term a lot in commentaries. A duke is like a... It's like a nuke, but, but dukey. <laughs> so I'm, dro I'm dropping duke bombs in this dude's toilet, right? Just absolutely destroying that porcelain throne. And... Um, <laughs> I look over, right, and I'm, I'm looking at, I'm like, you know, I got the little squinty eye, like, you know, like I was talking about my last commentary where my throat starts to make weird noises and my stomach's gurgling, and uh, I look over and I see a bathtub, I was like, fuck it, <laughs> so I'm dropping a duke bomb, okay, we're dropping dukes in this shit, and I'm puking at the same time, and it was just, you know what, I can't sit here and say that it wasn't the coolest thing ever, <laughs> because it, I know that sounds weird, trust me. It was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, I think, during a party, or in general. Uh, dropping Duke bombs and just laying out the nastiest puke you could even imagine. It was like a pinkish because of the, the pizza sauce. If you know anything about like getting drunk and puking a lot of puke, typically if you eat something like saucy, it's going to come out like pinkish or reddish. It's just absolutely disgusting. But yeah, guys, that's my experience. First time getting actually high, not just, you know, smoking weed. So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button as well as comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, I love all you guys. Peace out.